Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel where I try to bring you a wide variety of computer do-it-yourself repair and upgrade videos. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get your Chromebook fully updated. Uh, this can help if your Chromebook is a little slow, if you're experiencing any glitches. Uh, the first step you always wanna do is make sure all the updates are run. I'll show you how to do that now. I'll also show you how to change the channel of your updates uh, to make sure maybe for your situation you're getting the best updates you can be getting. As always guys, please remember to like and share if this video helps you, if you think it can help someone else. And please feel free to subscribe if you enjoy computer DIY content. If you guys want to support the channel a little further and leave me a tip, I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. So now let's get into the project. Turn on your Chromebooks, get to the desktop, and I'll show you how to update your computer. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go down to the bottom left of your screen. We're going to click on the Start menu, and we're going to type in the word Updates. Then you're going to see this option here, Check for Updates, under your Settings. We'll click on that. And then right here, you'll see check for updates. Now sometimes this will start auto running. It'll just start processing updates if you have it. Um, but oftentimes, most of the time, you do have to click on this button, check for updates. Um, and it'll tell you either your Chromebook is up to date or it'll start downloading and you'll see the progress right under where it says up to date. Uh, sometimes once those updates are done, keep in mind that you may get a dialog box bottom right of your screen pop up or you may see it pop up to the right of where your updates are, are pending and that may say restart. You may have to restart the computer to have the updates fully processed, fully downloaded. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. It's usually pretty fast with Chromebooks, uh, but keep an eye for that because you may want to restart it. Some of you, if you're trying to fix your computer being slow or glitchy, trying to make sure it's not an update issue, uh, check this out down here where it says additional details at the bottom of this list. If you click additional details, you'll see the channel that I'm on for updates right now. It says channel, and then it says currently on stable channel. Um, that's the channel or the way that I'm getting downloads from Chrome. If you want, sometimes I found this helps. If you click on change channel, and you see this channel here, beta, that's another update channel uh, where updates can come through. Um, if you're not fixing the glitchiness or the weirdness with your computer on the regular channel after a few days of checking for updates, you may want to try changing it over to beta. Um, that gets different kinds of updates. It usually gets them faster. This isn't for everyone. Sometimes these updates, I, I don't know exactly how to say it. Sometimes they're a little more experimental updates. They haven't been completely uh, verified yet to go through on the stable channel. So they're a little earlier you get the updates. But a few machines I've had that are very glitchy, I switched them over to beta and, and they seem to run better after that. And then you can always change it over to stable after. You, you can change back and forth um, whenever you want. So keep that in mind. If you're not able to fix the glitchiness or whatever you're trying to fix, um, this is a good way to do it sometimes. That's how you would make sure your Chromebook is fully updated. Keep in mind you can switch and back between those channels if you want to take that course, see if that helps you. If this does not solve your issues, guys, if your computer is still slower than you'd like, maybe it's glitchier than you'd like, consider instead a full factory reset of your Chromebook. This can also be referred to as a power wash for Chromebooks. There'll be a link at the end of this video showing you how you can do that for a Chromebook. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. And now, as I mentioned earlier, if you want to donate to the channel, I'll show you how you can do that. First, right below the video to the right-hand side, you'll see the Super Thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your Cash App. Find me at dollar sign PC Helper. You can leave a dollar amount, and you can even leave a little note.